Okay, let's render glass in a what? Render man. So I'm going to increase the input value a little bit so you can hear the voice clearly. Okay, the first thing that I'm going to show you is I put in the environment light map here with the HDRI that I download from uh, SIBL node. Okay, increase this up to two maybe. And then I put a spotlight, an area light which has been used as a spotlight. I would increase, uh, put this down to 15. In there I have two bottles, the straw and this one. So I'm going to move the water out first. So in random man you would go to, uh, in anno you would go to uh, the shape node here and you would uh, unlock the old page. But in random man you do not need to do so. You simply select that one, go to random man, go to material, go to glass. That's it. And in the preset you have like uh, glass wine, depression glass, the four glass, crystal glass, or architectural glass. In here I would choose like, um, I choose the depression glass, uh, glass wine, you know, it tends to be red or something. The four glass is white. So let's go with, uh, okay, let's go with glass wine. And this one. We go with uh, material glass, I go with architectural glass. Okay, so when you press render, you want you will see black because in here, uh, in the diffuse ray depth, the default is 1 and 1. So with 1 and 1, light cannot pass through all this wall, the Donald Trump wall. So you see the wall here, the wall here, the wall here, the wall here. When you press render, it's, it's totally black see oh I think the light is too strong I will check this one it's 15 this one here it's two too much I think zero would be would be good so let's press it again there you see it's black because the light cannot pass through the Donald, Tr Donald Trump wall called Donald Trump. so you need to turn this up to five the diffuse is two uh, the specular depth is like uh, the ray depth in uh, in anal or I it's uh, like whatever in a mental ray I forgot that so I would give this 5 and 2 and then we do the rendering again and it's cool now we see it super nice see the glass and the normal glass uh, however this the fall tend to be seen, so you, you turn it off. Okay, I think the environment is too strong in here, or maybe this light is quite strong. I put it like point uh, minus point two, and this the fall light. I would turn it to nine, and then I render it again. This one is a little bit cool. I mean, yes. I will select this light. I put it like, let's say, I put it back to zero, and see how does it go. Zero is quite strong, so put it point one. Okay, point one is nice. Also, this glass I don't want it to be that white. I need to change the colors. I would go to the fraction color. I would choose this little bit of color. Yeah. Which is kind of, oh it's too much, maybe lower it down a little bit, yeah let's go to this side a little bit, yeah something something like that, cool, cool 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 cool, also don't forget to turn the shin shadow on if you want, uh, if the glass is blue, uh, everything tends to be blue, if the glass is red, everything will be red, okay. So I would change from the glass wine to the depression glass to see. The depression glass is green. You can also change the colors in here as well. Change from that to crystal. Crystal is extremely, extremely cool. Yes. Nice. So I would give this one a material water as well. I give it like a... I call that water, maybe. Yes and the refraction maybe I give it a red color no not transmission sorry it's the refraction should be red 
noise oops yeah that, and then I put it back to where it is so in here you will see the glass has like four wall this one has another two wall and together they look like that with a good refraction I would give this one a this new material which is blue great I think I would turn this draw to a little bit of yellow yellow is kind of light yellow yes maybe greenish I think yeah this one is better also need to push it up yep that's great okay now everything is working correctly all you need to do is to increase the lighting and you, you can see the, the the caustic down here so the caustic you need to go to this one allow the caustic and it's cool I'm going to push this to 100 only maybe yeah 100 for glass I would recommend you to render with VCM because it you a very good uh, result I recommended by random man so I would put this one to no this one to 12 and I would re-render that again with the final for the final I love to see the incremental I don't want to see it like a normal render like in mental ray v-ray or anode render I need to click this incremental then it will render smooth one after another if you want it to be like a normal render where you have to wait just do like that turn this off okay now let's re-render and it is rendering the final result and it you see it's moving one after another until the final result and I'm going to pause the video okay the rendering is done and if you are using a Wacom tablet like me press shift Z to zoom out and Z to oops sorry and Z to zoom in yeah it's a bit noisy but it's okay and it's work okay same folk hope you like this tutorial and please suggest if you want anything more I mean I have seen a lot of guys asking me to get an man to work with new and or katana actually I love to try that but uh, honestly I don't use nuke and katana uh, most of the time or mainly I'm not a lighting artist or anything I'm just a 3d animator a 3d generalist but I don't do rendering or those kind of stuff so I hope you can figure it out there's a uh, documentation on the website just work it out and add that in uh, to get random men working on Maya I also read the document as well so I hope you can figure it out if you are using Linux if you are a Linux user please try it out thank you but I will do it if I have time that doesn't mean I don't want to have happy happy thank you very much for watching